Here's one of the questions. Oh, whoa. Okay. Have you ever thought about kissing Bella? Honestly? Hi everyone, it's your girl, Lil Baby Lexi. That's not my YouTube name anymore, but hey, I am still Lil Baby Lexi. And I got my one and only fave. My name is Bella. <laughs> Bella. <laughs> and we got Baby Noah here for Girls Talk combo. The main star here is this one right here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, careful! I got a matcha. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Matcha. It was a matcha iced tea. Iced tea. Yeah. I love it. It's so good. And then I got a passion fruit lemonade, something like that. So I hope it's good. I've never had it before. It looks good to no one. I know. He's going at it. <laughs> we were so tired. We just came back from Disneyland. We did. And today we are going to be doing a girls talk with Noah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Noah! <laughs> yeah, with Noah. So I went on my Instagram and I had everyone ask me questions, mostly for girls to ask me questions. So guys, you can leave, exit that way, this way, that way, this way, you know, all those ways. But if you want to stay, you can stay. Um, it is kind of more girl talk, you know. So let's get into it. Ugh. It's nasty? Yeah. I get asked this all the time by everybody, girl and boys. Do you still talk to Bella? No. No, I don't. She's just sitting here because, just, just because. She forced me. Yeah, I, I literally grabbed her and I was like, dude, you're going to sit here and you're going to record this video with me. And you're going to like it. Uh-huh. That's exactly what happened. No, I still talk to Bella. Yeah, we talk. We literally just went to Disneyland together. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's a good pad brand? Oh, um, Ooh, what do I that's use? That's a good question. Well, I don't know, because, like, the only one that I've ever used was Always. I've always used Always since <laughs> I was, like, a little girl, so I wouldn't even know. Yeah, I don't know. I literally just grab anything, but I'm not really a pad person. I'm more of a tampon person, so. You know, I was the oh. same way. Noah, you're just so dirty. You just took a shower. He said, okay, like spilling the tea everywhere. I don't know. I've always used the same pad. Like it's That's nasty, man. Like not, not like that. Whoa, not like <laughs> that. Not like that. You have to change your pads. Do not be gross. Do not keep them on 24/7. You gotta change them. <laughs> no. Uh, your son doesn't want to hear girl talk anymore. He wants to go with the boys. Bye, Noah. Bye, Noah. Come on, baby. So pads. Um. Don't use the same one, that's disgusting. Change it, you know? Yeah. I think you're supposed to change it like, they say every four hours, but I change mine like every two hours because I don't like sitting in blood. Like, it's, yeah. it's gross. And tampons are better than pads because you're not, not sitting, sitting in it. In it. Mm -hmm. It's not sticking on your sides, like mm -hmm. your inner thigh or anything mm -hmm. like that, you know? So it's like, it's more cleaner than a yeah. pad. Is it bad to use scented products down there? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Don't um, do that. Don't I ever. feel like people think that they're like clean or like they smell good because they use like scented products down there, but that's actually so bad. It'll probably make your like area smell worse. Yeah. You'll get a yeast infection. You literally don't need to use anything down there. Just soap and water. Yeah. Hey, when did you get your first kiss? Oh, sheesh. First kiss? When was my first kiss? I think. My first kiss was probably in like first grade, second grade. I was I was young. I wanted to avoid. Oh boy. yeah. And he just went like this, and then he ran away, and I was like. <laughs> my first kiss was in high school, my freshman year. I felt like I was so late to have my first kiss, just because I know like like everybody like already had their first kiss by the time like I had my first kiss. But, I don't know, ugh, ugh, and I well, regret it. I think I would rather have mine in high school than early, because it's like, dude, I don't even know who the heck kissed me. It was just a kid from elementary. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't even know what he looks like or, or who he is or anything like that. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> is your period pain bearable? So, I usually last, like, about seven days. Wow. Yeah, seven days. Some people last less. I wish I last less. But seven days, and the first day, it's the worst for me. Let's just oh, say yeah, that's the only too. time it, I could feel the pain. Me Other than too. that, throughout the week, I'm fine. Like, I'm yeah, like, right, jumping around and everything. But the first day, I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> the whole time. 
So I haven't gotten my period in a, so long. Is it because of? Yes, because of Noah. And then like even after I had the baby, because I'm breastfeeding, like I don't get a, it's normal to like not get your period. So like I haven't had mine in like a year and a half. You are so lucky. So lucky. Because literally I used to get the most painful periods ever. Like I would be like crying. Crying they were on so the floor painful. and everything. Yeah. So I, honestly, I feel like my periods prepared me for birth because birth was like nothing compared to like the period cramps I used to get. Okay, has a boy ever lied to you saying she's just a friend but then left you for her? Hmm. That's a good one. I felt like you knew. I'm out of here. <laughs> Bro, that, that, that's, not, that's not cool, bro. That's literally the one that you always have to worry about. The just the friends. Literally, just. I don't know how it always happens, but it's always the girl that you have to worry out, worry about is the one who's just a friend. Body count. You don't think you shower or what? <laughs> but she... Oh, that good old body count, huh? Oh, like, is she leaving? <laughs> is she leaving? You want to first? Uh, Me? Hey, who? Okay. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. What are you doing here? This is girl talk. talk. To be honest, I don't even know. I would have to count, but... Well, just because, like, I don't remember. Okay. That'll sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Bella. Bella. I'm just gonna say... Five. Uh, I wanna say... <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. My brother's just listening and it's just weird now. Um... <laughs> What is your biggest fear in a relationship? Oh, that's a good one. What is my biggest fear in a relationship? No, I think it's just like, it has to do with your individual relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, every time I'm in a relationship, Yeah, it's not the same thing. Fear. It's not like the same yeah, thing. Yeah, you know? it depends on who you're in a relationship with. What was your biggest fear? My biggest fear was breaking up and that happened. <laughs> All right, guys, let's, let's just cut this. I, I gotta go give her a hug and everything. What is your biggest fear? Uh, my biggest fear is um <laughs> being cheated on. No, honestly, I don't even worry about that because like I have like a good feeling that like, I, I hope I honestly don't want to jinx this, but like that he would never do anything like that to me. I think my biggest fear is uh me messing up the relationship by like being Ooh. so like. Like, That's a good one. You know what I mean? Like being like how I am. I'm afraid that I'm gonna be the one. Maybe because you don't trust people because of all the stuff that I've been through. Like mm -hmm. I don't trust my own. I don't even trust most of my family, honestly. And it's like, yeah, I just I think that's my biggest fear is that I'm gonna. That's that. a good one. Uh, adult life problems. Oh, adult. Ooh. That's a good one. Let me let me prepare you guys, all right? Because I wasn't even prepared. I wasn't even ready. Even though my brother kept on like telling me like, what are you gonna do? Come on, like get it together. Um, so. Honestly, I know they say, oh, you have your whole life of, uh, like, to figure it out. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. you need to figure it out you ASAP. Don't. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about, like, at least have a back, like, something to do in the meantime, and then, like, whatever you want to do, it might take you years to reach it, or a couple months, or how hard you work for it, you'll get there. But, um, definitely have backup plans. All right, here we go. Here's a good question. How do you feel about Anthony and Bella breaking up? Who? All right, all right, all right. You want to hear it? All right, I got you. I'm glad that they broke up because my brother was just way too good for her. Like, just way too good for her. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Um, nah, I I'm kidding though. I'm kidding though. Yeah, I think okay. Um, the whole breakup thingy. I think it was good on both ends. I just good on both ends. It's yeah. not toxic. Nothing's like literally. They're good. They're like friends. They're like best friends, kind of. Yeah, it's you just know? time to like breathe now. Yeah, literally. That's all they're doing is like just. Literally, I come downstairs. They're over here doing like the yoga position <laughs> thingy, the meditation, and they're just like this. They're doing meditation with the baby, and they're like, <laughs> how to deal with body shaming. Oh. Um, hmm, that's hard. So like being body shamed? I think so, yeah. How to deal with body shaming? Right? Oh, How yeah. That's hard. I feel like we get to experience it a lot more because we're like in a public eye. Mine was different from like body shaming. Um, I was in like a time where I was gaining and losing a lot of weight uh -huh. in the last like two years. Yeah. And um, honestly, I don't know. That didn't hurt me. Like that didn't like really affect me. I think the part that 
affected me was when people would comment about my teeth. Like, oh, why don't you smile? Why do you talk like that, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was going through a time where it's like, I didn't have money or I didn't have like insurance to like cover my braces. So I, mm -hmm. I had a gap and I was embarrassed of that gap. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, I can mm. finally like <laughs> smile. <laughs> Yeah, well, I just feel like you never know what anybody's going through. So even like though those comments didn't hurt her about her body, like you never know. So like why even make the comments? Yeah. Um, but for me, I was getting a lot of comments about like, um, like after I had the baby, but like I still look pregnant or I still look like big. Like I, yeah. That's messed up. That's yeah. that's not cool. I feel like we're on a podcast. We should start a podcast. Definitely. Bella and Lex. Sounds good. Alright, last question. Do you ever feel down about yourself? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There, there. You know, actually, yes, I do. It um, sounds like you're really crying. <laughs> Yes, I do actually. Uh, I think the other day I was at my boyfriend's house and I was just like, I feel so like ugly. Like, I feel so eh. Mm, that end of that TikTok. And then you made the video on the TikTok. Yes. Oh, literally me. I feel like my biggest issue with myself is it's like, fine. I know, is like my body. Uh, I'll, I'll like put on a certain outfit. I'm like, this is not business, but we're working on it, so. Love yourself. You're so you pretty though. What the heck? <laughs> Love yourselves, you guys. Everybody is perfect the way you were born. Yep. Okay. Um, but that is the end of our video today. We, we gotta go. Questions. We gotta go. Camera's dying. Um, but I love you guys all. We both love you guys all. You guys are all perfect just the way you are, just like she said. Mm -hmm. And I will see you guys next time.